Hello everyone, welcome back to another author tube video. This week I will be finishing up last week's video on publications. If you missed last week's video, I basically gave a few tips on applying to publications as well as listed five different publications that you can apply to that are coming up. The deadlines for them are coming up very soon. I still believe that none of them have been closed off yet, so if you want to check out last week's video and apply to any of those, then feel free to do so. This week I will touch on five publications that you can apply to that are recurring throughout the year. Online magazines that have monthly issues, anthologies that have volumes that are being published every few months, and things like that. All of the publications that I've mentioned in last week's video also have recurring calls for submission. So if the deadlines have passed for the specific calls for submissions that I mentioned in the previous video, that doesn't mean the publication is just done. They will have other calls for submission in the future. So if you enjoy or like to write in that genre that they have the calls for submission for, then keep them on your list for future reference. All right, so with that out of the way, let's now get to the five recurring publications that I have for you guys today. The first one is my personal favorite and also the first one I came across as well, incidentally. This one is called The Dark Magazine. They publish horror and dark fantasy flash fiction pieces about two to six thousand words in length. They encourage you to experiment and deviate from the ordinary genres that we see. They are not, however, looking for graphic or violent horror. If you write a more violent, gory kind of horror, then you might want to check out Sinister Smile Press. I talked about them last week. They publish works in this genre of horror. The Dark Magazine also offers podcasts that you can listen to, as well as their back issues of their magazines. Everything is all up there on their site. You might want to check out their previous publications if you plan to write for them to see what kind of pieces they publish. Moving on to number two on the list. This one has a very interesting name, the Three Lobed Burning Eye or 3LBE for short. This publication is another online magazine. They publish twice a year in the spring and fall, I believe and they publish anthologies every second year. They publish original speculative fiction ranging from 1,000 to 7,500 words in length. They are looking for original speculative horror, but can also be science fiction and fantasy as long as it's dark and shadowy. Like the Dark Magazine, they are also not looking for extreme gore type horror. They are just looking for more speculative pieces that explore different elements of horror without all the over-the-top carnage. If you are interested in this or in the first one, Dark Magazine, I've provided the links in the description below. Next up on number three of this list, we have the Boneyard Soup Magazine. The weird, the morbid, and the macabre. I never know how to pronounce that word. This online magazine publishes quarterly throughout the year and they're looking for pieces 2,000 to 6,000 words in length. Just like the first on this list, Dark Magazine, they are also looking for horror and dark fantasy. And like the first two, they are also not interested in extreme violence. If you are interested in applying, you can find the link to this publication in the description below. Moving on to number four on this list is Apex Magazine. They're looking for short stories with a maximum of 7,500 words. I believe this is another online magazine that accepts horror, science fiction, and fantasy stories. You can browse through their back issues to see what they have accepted in the past. 
if you are not too sure about your genre or your genres are overlapping, then this might be a great publication to start with. If you are interested in submitting to the Apex magazine, then I will link you in the description below. Now we come to the fifth and final one on this list. And this is the Denver Horror Collective. This is the only one out of the five that are not online magazines. They instead publish anthologies every so often. I mentioned them in the previous video I did on publications. They're currently accepting calls for submission for the Jewish Book of Horror. And earlier they were putting together a book on all things Wendigo. Who knows what they're planning next after this, so if you are interested in the Denver Horror Collective, then keep them in mind. And as always, the link is in the description below. Alright, that's it for this week's video. This was a shorter one. If you're interested in submitting to any of them, you can find the link to all of them in the description below. Stay tuned for next week, I will be doing a review on Nightmare Fuel, the autocrit course I took in March. And in other exciting news, my third and final book in my young adult series is published and live from today. If you are a fan of magical realism, fantasy, and werewolves, then you might like this series. And if you like to read YA as well. Benny Story is free. I will link to it in the description down below where you can check it out. That's the prequel to the series. This is a linear series, so reading the books one by one in the order, unfortunately, is the way to go. But I have provided directions throughout if you want to read all three books together with the prequel, then start with the prequel and then go from there. I will be starting my monthly Amazon giveaway draws in April, which is, it's already April, I can't believe it, but at the end of this month, I will draw the first winner. So if you want to hop on that wagon, then sign up to my mailing list and we'll go from there. If you guys have any suggestions on what you want to hear or some idea that you would like me to delve deeply into and talk about, then feel free to let me know in the comments below. I would love to get you guys suggestions on this. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like down below and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of me. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye for now.